Hey there, weavers, welcome back. This is Grace with Tangled Webs Weaving, and this is towel number four in the Strickler 8 warp that I have on the loom. And this, as a reminder, is a 8-2 cotton warp that is eight yards long, and it is threaded on eight shafts in a straight draw. And I have been experimenting with different patterns from the Strickler book, the Weaver's Book of Eight Shaft Patterns. And these are all from chapter one, which are uh, twills in a straight draw. These particular ones are on a light warp with a dark weft. And this one is uh, the first and second patterns in the book that I have combined into uh, this pattern that I'll be weaving. And I call it columns. I know, catchy, right? Uh, so I did want to let you know that um, I am using a tablet, uh, my iPad, to track my treadles. And I'm, I have a holder up on my castle here that you can't see, but you will see me reach up and um, tap my screen every four picks. And that is just me uh, tracking the treadles and advancing the program so that I can keep track of what I'm doing. This actually is a fairly simple pattern. Um, it is a, a straight draw, like I said, over eight shafts. And then the first uh, set of picks is uh, one, two, three, four on the treadling. And then once we get down to a certain point, uh, I will switch to the second pattern, and which basically just shifts the columns that it's creating to the right. And uh, we weave uh, five, six, seven, eight treadles. So I just wanted to point that out to you. I've already got my uh, picks in to separate the towels and I've got a uh, hem allowance in this color is called pumpkin. Um, so it's kind of a, a orangey, a little darker than orange, more in the, towards the brown. And when you weave it in with the white, you can see that it doesn't look very orangey at all. So we'll go ahead and start um, the tracking here. And we're gonna go, we're gonna start at 41 because I did 40 picks of plain weave for the um, hem allowance. And now we will just start in on the treadling. Now I have this set up as a walking treadle. And so I, when I threaded my, or when I tied up my treadles, I have one on my left foot, two on the right foot, three on the left, and four on the right. And that just makes it easier for me to uh, be ergonomically uh, correct. I'm going to kind of take it easy on the beading to see where I end up in my set. I have it threaded at 20 ends per inch. So we're going for a balanced weave of 20 picks per inch. And we'll just see how that works. Oops, I just lost my tracking. There we go. Okay. Um, And 
And that was the wrong one. And I can tell because it looks wrong. Um, and evidently I did not move my feet when I was supposed to. So I'm going to go ahead and stop here and uh, check my set, find my ruler, there it is. Okay, so this is actually beating in quite a bit um, more than my 20 picks per inch, but um, I like the look of it. So it's more of a weft faced. Um, and I think that I am going to just go with it. Uh, I might be a little bit softer. And um, I'll just have to do a few more repeats. Lost my floating salvage. Um, okay. All right, something's going on here with my floating salvage. Let's see if I can figure out what is going on. Oh, okay. So my floating salvage broke. That's why I couldn't find it. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is, um, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to grab a, another, uh, strand of the same yarn and let's see if we can repair that. So I have a fair amount of draw in there and so I probably just had a bit too much um, wear on the salvage. So I'm going to treat this like I would a, a repair thread. I'm going to take a straight pin. I'm going to put it on my warp quite a bit back. Um, and then I will take my floating salvage and wrap it around several times. And this is being tensioned by a weight on the back. So um, I don't really have to worry about the tensioning of it. But I do want to address the draw in here. Um, so what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to grab my temple and um, I'm going to use a temple to uh, push that draw in out. Um, and then I'll try to kind of adjust um, how I am um, pulling on the salvages and 
uh, try and address some of that drawing. So we'll go ahead and put the temple here. And I'm not going to push it all the way out, I don't think. Um, we'll see. Oh my goodness, my cat wants in. Okay, I have to let the cat in. Boxeroo, are you coming in? Come on. Okay, watch out. Watch out. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and put the temple in. What? You want up here? Okay. That's quite a bit of drawing. All right, that should help. And I got that on the wrong side. Let's see if I can no, I don't want to do that. Okay, we're going to turn it around so that my pin is not um, not getting beaten. <laughs> okay, there. All right, so that should help with the draw in. And then when I get to here, um, I'll just weave over that, these threads. And um, I'm not sure if I'm going to uh, needle weave them in at a later date or, come on, you can do it. Oh. <sighs> Can you do that, boxer? You wanna come up here? Hmm? Hey, boxer. Boxer, do you wanna come up? <laughs> come on. Come here. Come here. My old poor old geriatric kitty needs a little help. Hmm? What do you think? Can you say hi to the people? Okay. All right. So we will start in again. So I'm going to try and figure out how many repeats I've done because I've kind of lost track. Um, so this should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten repeats. Um, one repeat gives me so each repeat gives me one of these. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. And of course, I have to move this to see it. Um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I've done six repeats. Right, 
stairs. Start tracking. Okay. Now we, so we've done the first repeat. And now I will do the second um, pattern, which is the five, six, seven, eight. So we'll do five. That's 20. I'm going to look and see how my beat is going. And it looks like I need to beat a little bit harder. Well, actually, I'm pretty, pretty close. And as you can see, um, my uh, selvage is has pushed out again so that is what we wanted to do um i'm going to go ahead and not use the temple only because it tends to push these threads um, out and if i don't have to use them um, i'd rather not I really like the way this is turning out. Um, the difference in these two patterns is very distinct, but they also look a lot alike. So that's what I was hoping for. All right, so um, we'll advance the warp and continue weaving along. So now we will shift back to the one, two, three, four. So here is a um, little trick that I use um, when I'm measuring my uh, weaving. So I take a uh, tape measure, just a regular tape measure, and I place it at an for these I am placing it at the hem where the hem allowance ends because I want uh, it to be 30 inches from that point. 
And then I uh, take a binder clip and I clip my tape measure up here near the fell line and fold those over. And then when I advance my warp, I will move my binder clip up and I will let my tape measure just hang. So that is how I do it because otherwise I have to roll a tape measure up in my weaving and I may not have a tape measure that, that's, that is that long or I may want to keep it um, available for something else. All right, so here we go again. And you'll notice that I haven't been reaching up and tapping my treadle tracker. Since this is such a um, easy uh, pattern to um, follow, I have just been um, counting in my head up to 40 and uh, going with that.
All right, 30 inches. So that, now I will go ahead and do the plain weave hem uh, for two inches and then we'll be done with this one. Oh my, what? <laughs> wow. Whew. Well, you're buying the lot, I guess. Really?